Hi everyone, Rory from Data Spinners. Today I'm going to talk to you about X and Y for data cards. So jumping straight in, here I have got uh, a power app. It's uh, a landscape app because it uh, it kind of proves this point a bit better. Uh, if I go to insert and I choose a form and just make it an edit form for argument's sake and then choose a data source, kind of here's one I prepared earlier type thing. Um, the data source will come in um, and initially it's going to give me um, it's going to be three columns wide and as many rows deep as it needs to be um, so I'm just going to kind of rearrange that a little bit and um, we'll see what happens when I when I kind of do it. yeah so it's it's kind of expanding to the size and so on now what I'm going to do is I'm going to um, quickly move this into um, something so I can edit it. So just bear with. So what we're looking at is um, the data cards here and we have our X coordinates uh, take us off in this direction and our Y coordinates go off in this way. But the way in which it works is that the Y will be 0, 1, two, three, four, and so on, and the x is 0, 1, 2. Um, and so what we'll do is we'll jump back onto, onto this just to sort of prove the point. So um, so if you look at the uh, x, oops, if we look at the x coordinate here, we can see that's 0. Uh, if we look at the x coordinate on this, it'll also be 0. Uh, and the second one, you'll see um, will be 1 and 2 um, as we see. So it sounds trivial but, but we'll come on to some slightly more complex things. Um, so y is 0 here and y is 1 on the next row down. Now so that kind of makes sense at this point in time. Now if we go onto this data bit here and we remove the snap to columns what that means is we can do a bit of resizing and the reason I was showing you this is because as we resize things things move about a bit but in actual fact the x and y coordinates don't move about at all so you can see that this is uh, y equals 0 and this is also y equals 0 but x is 1 and 2 if, you, if that makes sense so x is 0 1 2 um, so it's not completely uh, it makes sense to me but it, it's just something that you need to know about uh, and so the same goes for this sort of thing here and it it kind of all follows along like that now what you may find and what I find is that if you decide that you want to kind of that you, you think it's a great idea to maybe hide one of your um, uh, some of your um, your data cards then then it does play absolute havoc when later on um, you end up uh, if you if you go onto this area here now excuse me for a sec if you go onto this data thing here and you then if you've hidden them and then you start moving them around like this it plays absolute complete havoc with the x and y coordinates so my advice is you literally you do your x and y coordinates you choose where you want them and you don't do this and one of the reasons why you don't do it is is that you may need to do 20 undos to fix whatever's just happened when you moved it up and down. So that's, um, I, I, this is from painful experience that I tell you this. So hopefully um, that gives you a bit more of an idea on X and Y coordinates for, um, for data cards. Thanks very much and see you again next week.